Welcome everyone. We are here in San Antonio, Texas. Car. San Antonio, Texas here at Leading Edge Archery. Super awesome pro shop here in just out, it's like just outside of San Antonio, about 30 minutes, but we're gonna dive on in, see what they're all about. And uh, they said a lot of people are gonna show up today for uh, just like hang out and shoot, so we'll see. It's, uh, it's gonna be a fun day. All right, everyone, we have Scott with Leading Edge Archery, and uh, we've been hanging out like all day, and nearly, and we've been podcasting, we've been shooting, we've been, you made food for us, it's an awesome shop, and uh, really, really awesome town too. We went downtown, Black Rifle's downtown. But Scott's gonna take it away and give us like a full rundown yeah. of the shop. Where'd you shoot this thing? Or who shot so, this? Believe it or not, Philip, the guy who was just here a second ago, he's one of our owners. He killed that in uh, Colorado two years really? ago. Crazy story about that, um, Yuli. He's 224 in Shoot. velvet. He killed it on the way of tracking his bull elk that he shot. No way. Which is hanging up back there. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Wow. He he made a great shot, and they were tracking the bull. And as they were tracking, they seen this mule. He really? had a tag, and he killed that hammer. Wow. It was the second largest one that was killed in uh, Unit 751 wow. um, ever. That's 224. Yeah, he's a hammer. And then this was shot around here, I'm guessing? Yeah, this is, a, this is an axis deer, which everybody comes down to Texas to shoot, basically. Um, this one is a unique one because he's got all the trash. Yeah. They typically are very clean 4x4, basically, yeah. or 3x3. Three three. Um, so this one was a neat one. It was killed by EJ, Veros, actually, um, who mm -hmm. runs the BSR Ranch and did a lot of hunts down here. And hopefully you guys get back and go mm -hmm. hunt with those guys sometime. Right on. Awesome place. And, Great animal, great representation of what we have down here in Texas. Sweet. As far as the shop goes, man, we've been open for about six years, roughly. Um, and what happened was, I'm an engineer and I worked in the aerospace industry forever. And I used to shoot for another archer shop in town here. About a year later, the town just needed a, a good shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a very rich archery community here in, the, in South Texas, it's yeah. big. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to open an archery shop. And, and five years later, we're here. What I could tell, though, you didn't start here. No, so we actually were started off in a, in a strip mall. Little, I think it was 800 square feet. 800 square less. feet. Yeah, really? small. Had yeah. one little 15 yard yeah. range. Yeah. And we outgrew that roughly in about a year. I mean, nice. we got so big, and then the shooting staff started getting bigger and better, and came here, and uh, yeah, I ended up breaking the lease there, which kind of sucked. But we're uh, doing that and, right now. And, <laughs> you have to yeah. if you want business to grow. Yeah. Yeah. And we ended up getting this building, thank goodness. And actually, we didn't even have this half of it. Uh, where those double doors are, we'll sh show you there. We only had from those double doors oh, really? to the range. Oh, really? Yeah, that's wow. all we took. The front end was still open because it didn't, it wasn't conducive to archery to what we wanted to do. Yeah. And then we outgrew that in a year, and uh, this was still available. And we got with the owner and said, "Look, we're going to gut the whole place and yeah. change it." And he was cool with it. And now it's Good deal. eight thousand square feet of fun. Yeah, yeah, archery fun. Archery fun, exactly. Cool. But yeah, this is just a showroom area. As you can see, we've got a lot of target archery stuff in here along with hunting. We do a little bit of both. Um, the crossbow community, of course, is growing like by leaps and bounds. And did, yeah. did you say it earlier, what percent of your sales are like target versus Believe it or not, we're about 50-50, yeah. which okay. is highly unusual for most archery shops. And like, for example, right now today, you know, in, when a lot of shops are slow this time of year, we're slammed. Do you have a Joe Ed program here? Yes, so it runs on Saturday mornings. We have right now about 15 to 18 students in that program okay. and it's growing like crazy. Our biggest program, believe it or not, though, is an after school program we run for the, um, the private schools and for the homeschool kids. Mm -hmm. This community is really big into homeschooling, okay. um, which is awesome for archery because I don't have to deal with schedules and times and when they can be here. So we have a school program we run on Thursdays. Actually, it's today and you're going to see it about four o'clock this place is gonna be packed with children. Nice. Kids from about okay. ages five to, to eighteen. Nice. So kind of cool. Yeah. Look at this. This is <laughs> this is so like one of the first that's one of the so first long. ones ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matthew's grip. This is back like three, four years ago. Four years ago. I was gonna say four years. Yeah. That was we've only, actually we've only been in business for four years. This is the service desk area back here. We've got basically three presses. Kind of a unique story if you want to kind of look at this. It's kinda of cool. We uh <laughs> We're really big in the Paralympic community, and we've got a bunch of archers that are in chairs that can shoot here. Mm -hmm. One of our guys, Jason Tabanski, is on the team, and I actually did that press and everything over there with the sign, the parking lot sign. Oh, for, <laughs> for <laughs> Jason <laughs> specifically. Yeah, we actually, I actually measured his chair height and everything and put that press there so that it's easily accessible for him. And for me being a short guy, it's, yeah, it's actually it's easy all sorts of me. <laughs> double duty. That's funny. But yeah, we pretty much, uh, it's where we do all of our magic, basically, back in the back section here. And we were lucky this building had a, was a sales building, and they sold chicken raising supplies. And this was the offices for the sales reps. They had divided the country the uh, into four different regions, so there were four different regional reps. 
when I seen it right away, I thought, man, I always had this idea in my head that it would be cool to give a, a manufacturer their own room to showcase everything they have yeah. to do with that room. And basically what I did is I called Blake and said, look, I'm building an elite room. Right, hook your, me up with Your that. job is yeah. to fill it up and make That's it look awesome. cool. So and, how uh, did you get like their, their certain paint color or that yeah, you matched it? Like yeah, we matched it, we matched it, it's all, it's all 100%. Really well. yeah, we matched yeah. everything. So when you go into this room, you're getting the elite archery experience, yeah, basically. That's awesome. And the other thing is, is I don't have to worry about customers overlapping over top of each other to test bows on one bale, yeah, right. you know, Hoyt, Matthews, Prime, whatever it may be. We've given each manufacturer their own room to have that experience. Right. That's and super it, cool. The manufacturers love it. It's something that they, uh, and I've had tons of shops actually call me and I've taken pictures and video, yeah. sent it to them because they want to model their shop around that same Well, it's nice. A lot of pro design. shops, you know, line it all up uh -huh. and you can't really ascertain like right branding or what bows what but this really you can tell like yes. when you walk into this room it feels like you're at hoyt. you're at hoyt when you yeah. walk into that room you feel like you're at elite absolutely yeah. and that's what it worked out really well and i will tell you from uh i've had a guy come in who was doing an assessment for us to find out the value of the building he's a retail expert and his opinion was look you're wasting a lot of space because you could take all of this and put it in half of that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I said, I agree with you, but I'm not giving the customer that experience, experience of that yeah. manufacturer. Right. right. I love point. it. I think you need an ultra real one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you do it in New York Second, it'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cool. worked out really well for us, and it's been a, it's been a big hit for most of our customers. They love yeah. it. Um, used bow rack, we do carry. We're active in the used bow area. I don't shy away from it. A lot of companies right. think we're stupid for doing it. Um, it believe it or not, it's our largest SKU item that we carry as right. far as the, yeah. the transactions and sales. Um, and it's been great because it gives us an opportunity to take, you know, a one year old frontline bow from Hoyt, right. Right. give it put a customer inside of it and, and he's into it for basically six, seven hundred bucks under what yeah, it and it been. prevents them from just going and getting it online off exactly. eBay and it comes exactly. in all screwed up. And, I'd rather yeah. them get it here and you know, a lot of guys say do warranties hurt you because if they blow it up, I've literally have, I think I've replaced two sets of limbs on me because they're a good repeat customer. Right, and in the long I'll only run, take that, that risk. Yeah, yeah long absolutely. Run, that's all right. Go back in this section over here. This is where we were. From these doors, we're, not, we're closed and blocked off. And, this and you're on this side. And we were on this side right here. Okay. Yeah, this is where we kind of started after we moved out. So this how long, how many years were you here before you uh, One year. One year? We got grit in one year, yeah. So imagine this, we had all those bows in center gondolas right here. Yeah. There were two rows and they were just stacked up. Yeah. And that's kind of, and this was all pegboard all the way across that door and the pegboard there. So it wasn't a lot of display at all. I mean, it was tough. Um, but we outgrew it. We made this our lounge. Yeah. Got a nice comfy couch that a lot of people sleep here. The kids come here and sleep here and spend the weeks with yeah. us a lot nice. that yeah. work here. Um, and then the, this is all arrows and string making. Everything we do here is uh, nothing but arrows and strings. And lastly, it's a big old range. It's huge. Yeah, it's a super awesome range. Yeah. yeah, this was kind of cool. We designed this. You know, this once again was an all, all closed off warehouse and I cut the, the rows off of here to get half of that up. My idea was to try to keep as much air conditioning in this area as possible. You know, it's still bleeding over in there, but it keeps this area a lot cooler than the actual range. Right. And then it, I was real big on making sure we had stadium seating for the parents. Yep, we yeah. host a ton of tournaments here. And what we do, the one play, thing the parents love is they got a place to sit, a place to keep their equipment. And it's very comfortable in this in the facility here from a shooting standpoint. Because right? it really, once again, Target Archer being a big part of what we do, this place on the weekends is usually packed. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have 20 to 30 guys in here on average shooting just every shooting. weekend. Always. Just shooting. Nice. Just shooting. Nice. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thanks for if you're in tour. Texas, come by and see us. And yeah, what's the uh, at Texas address? Yeah, we're at 117 Industrial in Bernie, Texas, which is about 18 miles west of San Antonio. Yeah, it's called In the Hill Country. It's a beautiful town. Um, and there's so much to do here. Yeah. You guys, like I said, if you weren't, yeah, if we if, if we, we were weren't running, running out, we'd so be even, hunting tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd yeah. be hunting tonight for seriously, sure. So. Yeah. All right, so we're just Scott just pulled these out. Go cut me. We have these tiny, um, tiny little bows, and we're gonna do a competition. Like 20, we're gonna do a couple of us shooting. We're gonna do the mini bow challenge. Vector. Whoever can shoot the best <laughs> with these mini bows. They shoot pretty fast, right? They're fast. They're fast. You pull it up Wonder if you could kill a deer with this. No. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Check out for you. Let me see how you pull it. Compared to this, we'll measure it. Let's mark. I'll mark it. We shoot mark 50? It. You can't shoot 50 with it. Oh, come on. 50 pounds? You might be able to. No, you're not. You're oh, little, the, anyway. Okay, this. Yes. The title, yes, the title of it is the LEA Leading Edge Archery Lease Sucky Trad Shooter. 
And right now, Mr. Oh, Philip Hall, this gentleman <laughs> right there in the purple shirt, holds this right here. So any Fletcher Brothers shoot that we go to, the trad shooters shoot in the morning, and whoever wins it, it's not known distance, and they get a little sticky tape right here. But you don't realize that. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a round robin tournament, which is basically like basketball brackets. Probably, I don't know, we should do like five. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, no, everybody no, no, shoots against everybody. Oh, maybe he means brackets. Maybe, he means. maybe he means brackets. We'll probably, just take a long time. Yeah, we'll probably do brackets, mini bow challenge tournament shoot off. This is my fifth Red Bull of the day. Meanwhile, All right, let's go. meanwhile yesterday morning, Chris is saying how there's no more like artificial non coffee caffeine. Hours of sleep. Come on. Who wants to shoot against Chris first, Jonah or Mitch? Me. Uh, Mitch? Oh, he called it out. <laughs> Oh no, Jonah first against Chris. <laughs> All right, here's the deal, guys. We have 12 contendants that volunteered to get annihilated by Scott. I hear Scott's really good at these things, yeah, right? No. <laughs> Negative. So we have these mini bows. We're set up at 10 yards, and we're going to do a bracket system elimination to the death where we have a plank out back. They got to run off the roof if they lose. Just kidding. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully, we all don't yep. miss. So, same with Reedy's when we did the long distance shot. We have a $300 UV gift card on the line to whoever makes it out of the end of that bracket over there. So, what is it? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot at stake. That's what I was trying to say. What you got? Uh oh, did you hear that? Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. Here we go. Game time. First match. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Not good. You just have to hit the target. Do not mess up. Do not mess up. All you have to do is hit the target. A little higher. Oh, let's go! One point. One point. Dang. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Anderson, no pressure. Oh! No pressure. You found it. I was canting a boat too hard. Shooting gangster didn't work out as well as I thought. <laughs> I really, I really don't have anything to say about my tragic loss here. Dang it! Let's go. All right, next semifinal is Jonah and Cole. No way. Let's go, baby. Oh man, we're stacked. It's the wrong target every time. Go for nothing. Go for nothing. What should I hit? That big 14. shot? Go for 14. Go for 14. Yeah, like lane number 14. Four. Double yeah. point. Oh, oh. No way. You got the championship bracket is Chris and Mitch. All right, here we go. Mitch and I are in the finals. $300 Ultra View gift card. $300 Ultra View gift card, but we, we're not going to take it. We're going to throw a spin on it, so someone here is going to get it. One point. Oh, let's go! Big points on the board. Oh, let's go. Ooh. What do we got here? What is that? Okay, we got five, three, one. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, Fell by nine two. Seven. I think he's messing up shooting the hands. We're, throw, we're throwing a spin on. We're throwing a spin on this. I gotta do it with this for all the marbles. Oh, that was in the scoring ring. Does it count? Does it stick? Oh wow. He's put a hurt on Rifle on him. Dude, that was at least a three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if it makes it on my back, you can shoot it I again. can grab it again. 
What do I got? We got. Oh, so I have to hit a. Hit a I have to hit a five. Ooh. Oh. Darn. That's it. That's all she wrote. So we got Jesse. Jesse won three hundred dollar gift card all awesome. tribute. So we'll get that to him and uh, thank you guys. Spend it all on funky fingers, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Philip Hall went down. Now I'm the least sucky trad shooter. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? We just wrapped things up here at Leading Edge Archery, just outside of San Antonio and Born. Super awesome shop. Scott, super awesome. Is that phone problem? No, we're gonna keep rolling. Super awesome shop, Scott. Super awesome. If you're anywhere near San Antonio, or even if you want to make the drive over to here, it's an awesome place, awesome shooting range. And uh, now we're going to what town are we going to? Again? Corbin's. Corbin's Archery in West Texas. So that's Chris doesn't tomorrow. even know what day of the week. Dude, I am like jacked up. Also, Red Bull, check Bull out sleep. the uh, Leading Edge podcast. Oh, we yes. did like a sick two-hour podcast with them this morning. Yeah, super awesome. So check them out and. Uh, We'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>